So what have we learned at the research chair in sustainable rural livelihoods? We know that rural communities' informal economy and subsistence enterprises were unable to adjust to the pandemic's disruption or first recover following the first effect. The widespread lack of essential skills, human resources, and expertise to build local enterprises and provide people with alternatives and resilience in the case of disasters has been a severe hindrance for rural people. Rural areas are popular locations for those returning for cultural activities and post-retirement living, emphasizing the rural-urban relationship that we are all too familiar with. However, the pandemic revealed that rural-urban migration could reverse and that when urban systems fail, people return to rural places and to tradition for solace. During the pandemic, many individuals in numerous African cities were forced to relocate to rural areas due to a lack of funds to pay for water, for electricity, and for rent. Rural communities rely on social networks for comprehensive support. These networks include kinship, faith-based networks, stock fells, and others. While the pandemic severed these links, it also proved that potential for adaptation and continued presence in the lives of community members. Churches, civic organizations, and traditional leaders provided essential support and assisted in identifying the most vulnerable households to ensure an equal distribution of assistance. We witnessed and we heard about local government's attempts to bring water to homes and communities and to communicate vital information despite inadequate infrastructure. However, they left much more undone because of structural weaknesses in a huge number of rural areas. We are adjusting, we are increasing in wisdom, and we are maturing. How might this insight be translated into better institutions and more successful programs to improve the well-being of rural communities? As a transforming structure, the struggles of rural municipalities play out in the struggles of the people they are meant to serve. Rural communities have a variety of additional obstacles some administrative in nature, while others stem from a lack of resources. At the Sachi Chair in Sustainable Rural Livelihoods, we are keen about the role of the municipality as a transforming structure in rural livelihoods. Rural municipalities cannot sufficiently generate revenue to enable them to implement livelihood sustaining projects. Therefore, the municipality needs to be transformed to transform rural livelihoods sustainably through forging partnerships and service provider networks within communities. Civic organizations, traditional leaders, and other levels of government are critical partners in that regard. We have witnessed the value of such collaborations in boosting rural livelihoods We've also observed how such efforts tend to be isolated and insufficiently distributed to yield sustained results. How partnerships may occasionally devolve into resource competition in the absence of robust governance systems. It cannot be overstated how critical it is to understand the primary participants in the network and the governance of such networks for sustainable rural livelihoods. The Sachi Chair in Sustainable Rural Livelihoods views the public service delivery system as critical to reducing social exclusion and poverty among the rural populace. The Chair examines the forward and backward linkages between networks of the state and agencies responsible 
for implementing public services and anti-poverty programs in rural areas. The chair draws on the sustainable livelihoods framework as a valuable lens for analyzing livelihoods fragility and sustainability. To hear more on the activities of the research chair and the research done by students under the chair, please visit our website or contact me to participate in our blogs, our podcasts, and digital series. I thank you. <laughs>